different to Formula One, but there is that absolute total mindset of towards winning and achieving the goals, even when the circumstances are against you. Yeah, absolutely, and that shows... Fantastic uh, result. Yeah, they say sport doesn't build character, but it sure shows what character you have. And right there, Andy Prio didn't give up for a fraction of a second. He was against Kovalainen, and Kovalainen didn't give up for a fraction of a second. Like you said, Tim, he absolutely kept his foot buried, knowing he made that mistake and there was nothing else he'd do. It was kind of win or bust. Absolutely. Literally. And and now, do you see the water that's been dumped on the outside lane of the track? Um, that's going to cause a bit of argument because whoever's starting on the outside for the next heat, which is Ekstrom against Pastrana, they're going to be claiming, unfortunately, yeah. you know, lack of traction yeah, yeah. off the line. Typically, you do that. Have to use every excuse now. Well, that's it. It's uh, it's quite wide. It's quite wide, so hopefully they won't get under the tires too much. Oh no, it's only a bit of sport, isn't it? You know, <laughs> we're just it's just race drivers like to use a bit of excuse. They use a bit of mindset, you know. Great slow mo of the Aston Martin. Well, there we are. Autographs are plenty. This, Tim, is one of the events where the fans can really get close and, and get autographs. Literally physically close to the action, but physically close to the drivers. Obviously, there's like a driver's lounge area, otherwise, uh, uh, where not everyone can get to. Otherwise, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to move. But uh, they're out and about a lot more than you'd think, and uh, the fans are really enjoying seeing these guys at close quarters. Yeah, and these guys enjoy it as well, because, um, you know, this is, this is a chance for them to race not under pressure, and don't they appear to really enjoy it? Well, there it is it's uh Wembley Stadium, the new Wembley Stadium, and uh, a fantastic track for the race of champions. We've had some fantastic action all the way through. Shumi is uh, still with us. Sebastian Bourdais is still with us. Andy Prio is still with us. But it's going to be a battle in a few moments, Tim, between the defending champion, Ekstrom, versus Travis Pastrana. Yeah, this is for the last spot in the semi final lineup. So uh, a great lineup, actually. Matthias Ekstrom, the uh, DTM driver. There you see him in car with a tribute to Colin McRae on his crash helmet. Sad Sadly missed at this event. And Travis Pastrana, the extrovert, bike racer, rally rally driver, stuntman, you name it, he does it. Um, <laughs> That's it. And, and he loves this. He's a reigning American uh, national rally champion, so, uh, you know, a lot of car experience. Yeah, we, he, yeah Tim, you, he does, but in comparison to some of these guys, it's nothing. He's been competing. It's impossible to think that Travis Pastrana is only 24 years old. Seems like he's been around forever. He's actually been around in motocross racing and, uh, and freestyle motocross. He won the Freestyle Motocross World Championship when he was 14. So he's been a real revelation the last couple of years. Yeah, he's a former AMA national motocross champion in the States and Supercross champion had to actually give up his full-time motocross career because of too many injuries done doing stunts uh, still the only man ever to have completed a double backflip in competition but his love of life now is cars yeah you're absolutely right he really enjoys his rallying and he's been just he's been he's, been, he's such a great character he's, he's like I say full of life uh, and he, and he just loves coming over here and competing in this event. Jimmy Johnson was his teammate in the Nations Cup. They didn't do so well in that. Oh, and Pastrana runs a little bit wide. I don't think it slowed him up too much. Although, no, Timmy should have it a bigger advantage of that by oh. now. Was that extra in the wall then? Extra, extra They're both trying hard, yeah. very, yep. very hard. Very hard. That's, that, there's extra, but I mean, what wow, these guys really want a place in that semi-final, don't they? Absolutely. Matthias Ekstrom, two-time DTM champion. Well, if you win that championship once, you're pretty special. You win it more than once, that's exceptional. So, he certainly knows how to drive. He's the defending champion of champions in the race in the ROC. And Matthias Ekstrom has well taken a big lead on Travis well Strong. Yeah, Travis is going to go for broke now. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be crash or burn, as they say in the States. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a good chance. Look at that concentration. If any of you have ever... Oh, that was hitting the wall again, I think, actually. That's yeah. a bit of a bang there, but... Uh, great for the passenger if they're not <laughs> ill. <laughs> well, Pastrana up against Schumacher in the, in the Nations Cup. He, he held him pretty well for about a half a lap. And yeah. then things did go a little bit awry, and he did start bumping and banging the walls a little bit. Well, Pastrana defeated Gronholm to get to this stage of the uh, uh, champions, yes. champions. And when he got out of the car, he said to Gronholm, you're still my hero. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I think now for the moment, maybe it's going to be Matthias Ekstrom who's going to be Travis Pastrana's new hero because Matthias Ekstrom is going to take what looks like a pretty dominant win here to move in to the next stage where he's going to be up against Andy Prio. Can yeah. Prio do it again? Well, the hometown fans are going to want that, and that's probably one of the biggest winning margins. And then the passengers saying, yeah, I did that for you. That was all down to me. Yeah, one of the things people forget about Matthias Ekstrom is that he's competed in World Rally Championship events, um, and, a, you know, and very successfully as well. So he's an accomplished rally driver, as, of course, was the driver of that car, Colin McRae. Absolutely, yeah. Eight starts in the World Rally Championship. You're absolutely right. He actually won the Group N uh, category of the Swedish champion, uh, Swedish uh, Rally in 2004. So the point there is probably the most diverse level of success almost of anybody here. Yeah, exactly. Although I guess Travis Pastrana would probably like to take any of these guys on on the motorbike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think if we put uh, motorcycle racing into this event, Pastrana, yeah, we'd have broken arms and legs and Pastrana would be the only one competing in the end. Of course, they had bike riders in it a few years ago, didn't they? Yeah, yeah they used to have Rossi well, and, uh, and a lot of the bike riders, but it sort of became a rally drivers yeah. against racing drivers yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's good to have a few different drivers. We haven't, of course, got Sebastian Loeb here, who's a multiple winner. Um, um, he couldn't get across the channel. <laughs> um, but, um, it, you know, nevertheless, it's good to have some diversity. This year we've got Vettel in the mix, and, you know, it's great. But look at this. Going into the semi-finals here, Michael Schumacher versus Sebastian Bourdais. Andy Prio versus Matthias Ekstrom. Well, those guys have got a few championships between them. Mm, shoot me, seven world championships. Nobody needs to know that. Sebastian Bourdais is at four times champ car. Yeah. Four times champ car, including defending champion. 2005 won the Indy 5.